Hey everybody, Johnny Wilson here, uh, Nottingham Physio. Uh, so today we're doing a high intensity, low impact, full body conditioning circuit. Uh, we're going to be looking at upper body, we're going to be looking at lower body, we're going to be looking at strength, we're going to be looking at cardiovascular fitness. We're looking at all the elements that are, are heavily you know, connected with health and longevity and the science of health and longevity. So if you want to improve your quality of life, improve your independence, get your fitness levels up, go after your dreams, then this is certainly the 30 minutes for you. Okay, so we are going to start off with mobility because what I don't like is these big long spiels, you know, where you get some people who are like just talking forever and ever and ever. So without any further procrastination, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with mobility and we are just going through toe touches. So all the way up into the air, arch the back as you're going up into the air and then back down, try and keep your knees straight touch your toes, and just lovely mobilization for the lumbar spine and all that's those soft tissues, tendons, ligaments, collagen, muscles, especially in the posterior aspect, so in the back of the body there. Good, two more of these to do. Excellent. Big stretch up into the air. Looking forward to a phenomenal 30 minutes today, and then big stretch up in the air. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a squat position if you can, hands on your, your toes just like that, and then you're going to try and straighten those legs. So you're straightening your knees so you're feeling a stretch on the backs of your legs, so you're feeling a stretch through the hamstrings there, okay? So we're bending the knees and then straightening the knees, and all the time you're trying to keep your hands, your fingers on your toes so you get that dynamic stretch going on there. Good. Five more of these. Five. Four, three, two, and last one. Good. Okay. Then we're going to go into a squat again, or as much of a squat as you possibly can. Everything should be done pain free. Hands on the inside like that. Okay. So you're keeping your elbow on the inside of your knee and rotate up and around and look, follow your thumb. Good. So now we're getting a nice stretch through the lumbar spine and then rotation through the, the thoracic spine. Great for the glutes as well here, so all the time just following that hand all the way up to the top. Try and get as much rotation as you can. You might feel restricted on one side, rotation compared to the other side. Really important exercise as well when you're reversing the car. Okay, good. Four more of these. Good, get that stretch. Try and reach towards the sky. Last two. One more. Good. Staying on that dynamic theme, okay? Feet are going to go as wide as you possibly can, okay? And then we're going to bend right over, okay? And then it's going to be opposite hand to opposite leg. And we're reaching across as much as we can and getting that stretch through the groins, through the hamstrings, through the lumbar spine, rotation at the thoracic spine. Good stretch through the lats as you're going across here. So your latissimus dorsi. And also through the posterior capsule of your shoulder. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Now you're going to put your hands on the floor and you're going to spread your legs a little bit wider. Okay, and then you're going to do like a waiter's bow. So you're going to put your hands behind your back and you're going to go down and up and you're going to feel this intense stretch through your groins okay and it's brilliant for opening out all the uh, vertebrae as well especially in the lumbar spine so up and down works as kind of a strength exercise as well five four three two and one oh that is lovely that one so then what we're going to do is we're going to get a step you don't need a step but if you got a step you got a step right so we're going to do our deep lunge, okay? So you get your step there, foot on top of the box, okay? Chest nice and proud, nice, nice and high. Hands above the head if you can, right? And then you're going to lunge forward and get into a nice deep lunge as much as you can. Now, you might be limited by pain, you might be limited by stiffness, you might be limited by a lack of strength. So what we're going to do is work within our limits, okay? 
So you're working within your own limits. And with each one, as you're getting a bit more warmed up, you can go down a little bit more. The idea of the step is that it enables you to go deeper into it, especially with the back leg. And can you get that back leg, that back knee to touch the ground? Good. And then can you get that hamstring to touch that calf? And change sides. Phenomenal little routine this is. You know, you could do this every morning. You could just start the, the class, do your seven or eight minutes, and then we've worked on all tissues of the body. And there's an element of strength in this as well. A lot of people lean forward on this one. You're not supposed to try and keep that chest up. Drive forward and going down into that stretch. So you want that front knee to come out over the toes. But again, like I say, always, you know, working within your own limits. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. So next one I love, because it's brilliant for shoulder strength as well. So the downward dog to Cobra. I make up, I make up some of these names, okay? But... We want to be in that position there where they call it the downward dog, okay? And so you're getting a stretch through the hamstrings, try and keep your heels on the ground. And from there then, we're going to go into a cobra position. So now I'm marching the back. Brilliant for shoulder strength and mobilization. So just holding that position. Now I'm feeling a huge stretch through my lumbar spine, through my lower back here. Feel a huge stretch through my calves as well. And then we drop hips down. Try and keep the elbows straight. So don't try and bend them. Try and get that strength through there. Back up into that position there. Feel that stretch going through it. Good. Back into Cobra. And we've got one more of these to do. One more upward, downward dog. And one more. This should be called an upward dog, really, rather than the Cobra. But anyway. Back into our last downward dog. I love that. It's an intense, deep stretch throughout the whole kinetic chain. Last time into, into Cobra. Good. All in that. Getting that good stretch through the lumbar spine. Fantastic. From here, we're going to get a chair. Okay. And we're going to do our seated pancakes. So, if you remember a little from last time. Feet nice and wide as you can, so you want to get a good, good stretch through there. Hands behind your back, and I want you to keep your back arched, okay? So I don't want you to be slouched, arched. And then you're going to go forward in that arched position as much as you possibly can. You'll feel the stretch coming on through the groins. You might feel it on the lumbar spine, and you're just going up and down like that. So see the pancakes, good. So I can feel deep stretch through my adductors, through my groin muscles, as I'm going down towards the bottom there. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. So then we're going to go to the ground. I know it takes a bit of time transitioning as well, okay, from sit to stand, but that's important. This is functional, okay? So I do put it like this where we have to start moving from change from side to side. So my hands... Are just supporting myself there like that and then I'm just going to go into internal and external rotation so I'm just dropping my hips in and out like that okay and you again you might find that one side is a little bit tighter on the other side I think going into internal rotation on my right hand side so when I go this way on my right leg I can definitely feel a bit more tighter on the inside there not so bad on the left hand side good and we're just mobilizing these hips. Excellent work. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. So that's a nine minute little circuit there for you on mobility, which you could do every day. So, sort of, you know, you just pop the video on and then away from you go from it. Just giving you ways to kind of get into the class, okay? Now, we're going to go into cardio. We're going to do 45 seconds, all right? And then we've got a 15 second break. The first exercise that we're going to be doing is step back with overhead throw, okay? So, getting ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. 45 seconds, good. 
again if you've done your mobility and you've got you know 15 minutes to spare and you want to do half of the class but you haven't got time to do the whole class then what a great way to do this get your mobility done then get a little bit of cardio done and then get on with your work maybe you can do the, the second half of the class at another point in time good hands above the head feet come together step back and then pushing like that okay keep going i gotta leave somebody into my class so you just keep going keep going keep going keep going absolutely keep it going so just welcome them, louisa to the class okay last 10 seconds keep it going well done guys superb five four three two and one okay good next exercise is going to be jogging on the spot for 45 seconds okay getting ready to go in five four three two and one and away we go so nice cadence getting our step rate up heart rate's going to be coming up now as well just on the spot getting those legs moving as fast as you can if you're struggling to run on the spot then just march on the spot we're trying to get that heart rate going up as as much as we possibly can do next exercise after this is going to be step ups so you're going to need your step okay good keep it going superb now speed it up for the last 15 seconds go 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 if you're on the march speed your march up excellent five four three two and one okay so now i'll get my step and we're going to do 45 seconds on each side so the first side that we're going to be leading with is we're going to lead with our right and then left comes up okay so it'll be right like that okay three two and go and then you're going to go as quick as you can 45 seconds so we're just leading with the right for this first 45 seconds and then we'll be leading with the left okay you are doing brilliantly good stick with it now right up right down yeah so you're just leading with the right on this side excellent brilliant guys come on keep with it now keep with it love that the box is making a bit of noise five four three two and one so this time then we'll be leading with the left I'm just gonna turn my box over like that hopefully it won't make the same noise okay getting ready to go in five four three two and go so again just this time we're leading with the left so the left goes up first and then the left goes down after that 13 minutes gone we've got one more exercise to do in our cardio part and that's a brilliant 15 minute class in terms of mobility and cardio so if you've got 15 minutes and you don't think that you've gotten you've got the 30 minutes to do the class i'm giving you a 15 minute absolute beautiful one getting ready for the cardio part through your mobility and then getting it after it with a little bit of cardio work good great 15 minutes we can all get 15 minutes somewhere okay five four three two and one okay good last exercise we're going to do this one for a minute to get to that 15 minute magic mark okay so we're going to be on the spot and punching three two go once we've done this minute that's 15 minutes done that's a phenomenal 15 minutes great stuff so if you're struggling to get the 30 minutes in every day and you might do your 30 minutes twice a week or three times a week here's a beautiful one to then fill in those days to start building it up good keep the feet moving keep the arms moving you're doing brilliantly keep it pushing love that keep driving keep driving now 30 seconds to go what a 15 minutes i know it flies by doesn't it i can't believe it 20 seconds to do and we have done our first 15 minutes of mobility and full body cardio with upper body and lower body strengthener count it down with me for the last 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three 
two, one. Outstanding. Well done. 15 minutes of that class absolutely smashed. Okay, so moving on, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our upper body circle. We're going to start off with bicep curls. we got to get ready to go straight away. So grab your weights, and we've got 45 seconds on these. Tough one, this one. Absolutely tough upper body circuit here. I love this. We've got five exercises to do. Really tough. So we're going to do bicep curls. We're going to do dips. We're going to do lat raises. Arnold press. Open the curtains. Close the curtains. And then we're going to do bent over reverse flies. Tough, tough upper body circuit here. Good. Keep it going. Last 10 seconds. Keep pushing yourself now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, grab your chair, okay? Make sure it's up against something so it's not gonna slide or slip or anything like that. And we have got 45 seconds of dips. Absolutely love this exercise. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Second exercise in this circuit. You, got, you guys are doing absolutely phenomenal. Up and down. Try and get that stretch down as low as you can in, in a pain-free manner, okay? Over time, you'll increase your mobility if you don't aggravate it. So if you've got to do mini ones at the moment, that's fine, okay? If you're doing them nice and slow, that's fine as well. Good. Holy moly. Tough exercise this one. Whoa. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ay, ay, ay. Whew. I don't make these classes easy, I can tell you that. And this upper body circuit that we're developing is incredible for your health. Okay, lateral raises going out to the side for 45 seconds. Three, two, and go. Good. Pick a weight that you can manage. Go to the range that you can manage. Don't aggravate it. If it's just a tiny lateral raise to the side, it's where we, it's not where we start, it's where we finish, you know? And I haven't missed this on, I haven't missed a Wednesday, I haven't missed a Wednesday in four years and seven months, and I'm so proud of that. Like, it's a big achievement for me because, you know, in terms of what I want to be as a person, I want to be reliable, I want to be a person that you can count on, I want to be a person that, you know, has accountability and responsibility and somebody that you can say, you can trust as a friend, and as a colleague, and somebody who's trying to inspire you to be better in terms of your goals for health and fitness. That's important to me. Three, two, and one. And one of the biggest things is turning up. Just turning up. Because these days we've got a lot of cancel culture, don't we? And there's a lot to be said for just turn. Just turn up. Okay. Open the curtains, close the curtains. For 45 seconds. So we're driving overhead. Get that up and down, out in front, and then drive up overhead like that. Super. Good. Get a weight that challenges you, but doesn't break you. We want to make you and not break you. I might be struggling on this one. But again, when you turn up, you give a little bit more of yourself. Last 10 seconds. Last five. One more to do. And time. Oh my God. 19 minutes gone. So, next one, bent over reverse flies. Okay, get a good stretch on the hamstrings. Okay, elbows slightly bent, back arched, head facing down towards the ground, and then squeeze the shoulder blades up together. Good. I love it. Tough, tough upper body circuit here today. So I really care about this 30 minutes because I don't want to waste 30 minutes of my life. So I want to make sure that the contents of the 30 minutes are not for entertainment. This is not entertaining you. This is training you. And I say to all the people I work with, I can either entertain you or I can train you. But I'm not a great entertainer. But I have dedicated my life to the science of health and longevity, 
strength and conditioning and becoming a better person. Five, four, three, two, and one. And entertainers are people pleasers. They want to be liked. If I want to be liked, maybe I'd sell ice cream. But I'm more interested in getting results than being liked. And of course, it's nice to be liked. You know, I don't want to be a bad person either. I don't want to be one of those people that, like, you know, it's not very pleasant. So I'm not saying that. But I am saying that the content is really important. Okay, on the floor, core, bicycles, just like that. 45 seconds. Time is against us. Time is always against us. Time waits for no man. My God, it's always slipping against us. But if you want to maintain your function, and function is deeply, intimately related to your independence and your quality of life, then you've got to do something about it. And that needs conditioning. That means working on your upper body strength, your lower body strength, your single leg dynamic stability, your cardiovascular fitness and cardiorespiratory levels, fitness levels. You've got to be going after all of this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. So then we're turning over onto our front and we are doing mountain climbers. Are you ready guys? Three, two, one, let's go. So try and keep the lumbar spine nice and straight. You can do these against the wall if you don't want to do it on the floor. So, or you can do it against the raised surface. So leaning on a chair or something like that. Good. But the main thing is that you find a way to do it. And you can see where the progression is. And if you're already in this position, I'll tell you what, it's a great way to strengthen your lower abs, your spine, all the muscles around that, and your shoulder muscles. Good, come on. Doing really well. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we are flying through it today. So now we're going to do our... Hands at the back like that, and then supported raises just like that. Good, 45 seconds. Would you believe there's over 22 minutes gone in the class? There's less than eight minutes to go. There'll be seven minutes to go once we finish this exercise. Good, so knees out, knees bent, just like that, using your hands, feeling those abs working hard. Oh my God, hip flexors will probably be tightening up as well. Because it's a tough class. 15 seconds to go. Keep it going. Make it a tough today. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Then we're lying on our back. Okay. Opposite hand to opposite leg. Okay. So we're doing our crunches like that. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Hand up and touch. Can you touch? Can you keep the knee straight? Let a little bit of rotation into it. Get that stretch through the hamstring. Get those abdominals really working hard. Keep that knee straight as you can. Good. Working in towards it. Big shout out to Sue, who's out in France doing our class today. Thank you for tuning in. Excellent work. Takes a lot of discipline to do that. Very proud of you. So even when you're on holiday, you can do this program. Last 10 seconds. Whew. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. So then we're going to get into standing. Last core exercise that we've got. We're going to go squat to elbow so like that and then it's like that okay 45 seconds good so you're getting those lower abdominals little squat into elbow comes across your body opposite hand to opposite knee into a little squat like that good come on guys after this we've got five minutes left in the class it's crazy we've got a five minute finisher Come on, up and down. Then that knee comes up to the elbow. Last 15 seconds. Good. Drive it up there. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, good. Next on the list. Okay, right. Okay, so we are doing horse stance. Straight into that. Oh my God. Three, two, one. Down we go. Hands behind your head if you can. I am making it really, really tough today, okay? But you guys are doing phenomenal. Good, try and keep your back straight, chest up, drop into that squat as much as you can. And then little pulses. Good, you're doing great. Feel the burn on the quads. Try not to be bent over like that. Try and keep, it's as hard on the back muscles as it is on the quads. Getting down nice and deep, nice and low into that. Good. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, upper body, we're going press ups, okay? We have got less than four minutes to go in this class. You can do your press ups against the wall, you can do them against the chair, you can do them on the floor, you can do them on your knees. They're a great exercise that you can modify in so many ways. 45 seconds, let's go. Three, two, one, push. Lower slowly down. Three, Two, one, then drive up. Three, two, one, push up. Three, two, one, drive up. Three, two, one, you're doing great. Big push. Lower slowly. Three, two, one, push up. Grab everything you can in this. Three, two, one, drive up. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, Push up, two more to do. Three, two, one, push. Last one. Three, two, one, drive up. Okay, so we're going on our back. I normally use a step for this. You don't even need to use a step. You can use anything you want. Okay, and we're gonna go hamstring bridges. Right, we are nearly there. Single leg, up and down. Hands across your chest. Drive the hip up. We've got 45 seconds of this. You're doing brilliantly. Come on. Whew. We've only got this to do, and then we've got a finisher. Okay? You are doing brilliantly. My God, it has absolutely been incredible class today. Whew. I'm saying it's been incredible class. We've already nearly 28 minutes into the class. Whew. 15 seconds on this. Drive that hip up into the air. Try and keep your hands up off the ground. If you need to put them on the ground, put them on the ground and you can use that as stability. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, getting ready to change sides. The more of a knee bend is easier, less of a knee bend. So the straighter that, that working leg is, the harder it's going to be. Okay, 45 seconds and away we go, up and down. Good. Recruit, pushing your heel into the ground. Like I said, you don't need a step for this. You can do this on the ground, but you will need more of a knee bend to do this. Working through the glutes, working through the hamstrings, working through all the muscles that cross the back of the knee. So it's a really important knee exercise as well. Good. You're doing great. Come on. Keep pushing down into it. Keep working hard. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. We are going to finish off with punches, running in punches, okay, for one minute. Ready, set, and let's go. One minute. That gets us to 30 minutes. Unbelievable. This is the last exercise we're doing. Push this hard now. Nice and quick. Come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We've got this far. There's no point in stopping now. 30 seconds, drive those punches out, getting the knees going nice and fast. This is what we are here for. Last 30 seconds of the class. Get it going. Come on, guys. Everything you got now. Push, push, push. Be the person you want to step into. Step into that mindset right now. Step into that frame of mind of the athlete that you are. Being an athlete is not dictated by your age or your bank balance, or your professionalism about it, it's always a mindset. Last 10 seconds, come on. Keep it going. 
five, four, three, two, and one. I do not know where that 30 seconds went to, or where that 30 minutes went to, but it flew by. It was tough. I found that tough. I hope you found that tough. Uh, thank you so much for turning up from all over the world, South Africa, uh, France, uh, the UK, America, wherever you are. It is great to see you on board here today. And uh, like I say, we're here every Wednesday. Uh, we've gotten rid of another 60 classes off the internet. So we're now taking 200 classes off the internet. So slowly but surely, all these classes are coming off YouTube. We're leaving up three or four as an idea of what we do. But if you want to get involved, please get in touch with us. Uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button because it shares the channel to more people. You know, leave a comment, that really helps as well. Uh, especially those people who are with me every Wednesday. If you don't mind guys leaving a comment and all that, that'd be fantastic. Uh, and share the channel with your friends. And um, look, thank you again. I am so proud of this, so proud of everybody there. And uh, I will see you all again next Wednesday live. Johnny Wilson, Nottingham Physio, signing out.